All right, I'm Nick. We're going to take a few minutes today. We're going to show you an updated version of the PDL rod rest. Now, we redesigned it in the past. It just mounted right here. Some folks would have issues with it sliding down here to push it back up. So I wanted to make it a bit better. I had an idea a few months ago. We just hadn't had time to do it. Now we do. So today we're going to show you. Now it's going to come in a package just like this. Everything you need is right here. And if you look closely, you can see these threads because this actually mounts right here. Now we're going to dub that the PDL access plug. I have no idea what it's actually called. But that's what we're going to call it. When you get this, it comes like this. There's one Phillips head screw in here. It's a three piece assembly. This top piece right here is solid HDPE. It'll allow you to put any kind of T-track bolt, any kind of track mounted accessory you want to put on there. This piece will allow you to hold your rod like normal. And this piece right here screws into the PDL access plug. Now, this thing is extremely easy to remove, really nothing to it. You, I'm gonna do it with these pliers, but you can do it with your fishing pliers. You can do it with two screwdrivers and any kind of pry bar. You just put this in here. There's a little bit of tension at first and it'll come right on out. Uh, there is a gasket, that is your tension. That gasket's around that ring. Once you remove that, we're just gonna carefully pull off the gasket. We're gonna put the gasket on here like this, put this down in there. Now remember, you wanna go counterclockwise first. It just helps make sure you don't cross thread anything. Slide it down there, take your pliers, put them in these holes, tighten everything down. You don't gotta go crazy. As Soon as it's snug, it's snug. Once that is there, you'll take this piece and this piece you drop your screw in here, line everything up, grab your screwdriver. You do not need a drill for this. It takes seconds. And then you can just align this however you want it. I would align it like this. And you'll see why in a second. Now, you don't gotta go crazy tightening that down, it's no big deal. You'll still be able to pedal like normal. Now this system here is gonna allow you to take this is a brand new T-bolt. Never pulled it out of this thing. It's tightened way down. It's going to allow you to take your T-bolt, slide this on, tighten. We're going to put a ram ball on here in this case because that's how I prefer to do things. And then from that configuration, you can use this mount, which is a cell phone holder. You can take this off of here. You can put your GoPro up here. You can add whatever kind of extension you want to add. Uh, a lot of people actually choose to put their fish finder here, like small fish finders. You tighten that down. You can put this wherever you want to put this. You'll still be able to pedal, uh, depending on what kind of configuration you want it in. It doesn't matter. And then obviously the original reason this was, whole thing was designed was this can just sit here like this. And there you are. You can still pedal. You can rest your rod there, say you're sight fishing. Say that you... You know, you don't want to put your fish finder here. No big deal. Everybody does things differently. This is here. This is sitting here like this. You can take pictures of yourself holding the fish. Uh, nice thing about it too is since all you get this ram ball adjusted, right? You can just swivel this around and you can record anything that's in front of you, whatever you're doing, and just spin this back around. There's a link below to the new rod rest system on the website. It's going to be 30 bucks going forward. I got it marked down to 25 right now. And if you use discount code BF, which is for Black Friday, you'll get an extra 15% off of that. I think we have the Old Town Drive inserts on sale, Anchor Wizard adapter plates and so on, but you'll see it at the top of the website, okay? If you guys got any questions, just leave us a comment or shoot me an email at nick at Thanks for watching.